Okay, gotta do this fast. The baby is due in a week. Oh, but thank God I managed to go see Expendables 4. Sorry for not live streaming. It was more convenient for me to do it like this this week. I know there hasn't been a lot of consistency lately with the format, but I hope you all understand and thanks for sticking with me. Oh, did I say Expendables 4? I meant Expend 4 -bles. We're still doing this, I guess. Did you learn nothing from Scriform or Fant 4 Stick? One thing that shocked me about this film is just how cheap it is and very early on into the movie. This has a part where a character is just looking through a peephole and the green screening is awful. There's an argument in a house that's green screened like a reality show parodying a sitcom with relationship drama. This is a big screen IMAX action movie that looks like any minute now Medea should walk in. So I was like, this is the beginning of the movie. How is the rest of this gonna look? I'll give it this. When it gets to the action, I can tell what's going on, unlike with Expendables 3, but I don't know how much that benefits this movie, since it's shot and edited like it's on a budget of a Super Bowl commercial featuring the Expendables. This is cheap in a way that isn't like a cool, low-budget, New World picture movie from the 80s. This is cheap like it's 2005 and you rented a direct-to-video movie with Steven Seagal on the cover that he's in for like five minutes. Even the editing messes with the tone a little when we get the villain doing his thing spliced throughout the first act with no rhyme or reason where the scenes go. You'll have one scene with the Expendables monologuing about golden showers, then it cuts to the villain shooting a five-year-old. There's a part where a character is unconscious and you still see their hands moving around. There are twists that are so obvious that it's like, can we just hurry up and get to both of these reveals? Hell, they run out of locations, so the second half is all on a boat. Like it's opposite Jason Takes Manhattan, where here I was like, oh, we're never leaving this boat, are we? The humor is stuff you've heard before, like guy gets shot and says, hey, you gotta kiss it to make it better? It's all dick jokes. Non-stop dick jokes. The Porky's movies have nothing on the amount of dick jokes here. The only joke I guess I liked was the final scene that is so what the hell and raises so many questions that it kinda worked for how stupid it was. Seeing this on the big screen in general is ridiculous, but I saw this on an IMAX where it had no business being. This is a D minus. It's one of those where it's an ensemble film and one of the worst for all involved. Thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe today and click the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.